What's up guys this is Aman Shukla and today we'll be having a tutorial on how to install Turbo C++ 3.0 compiler and with its familiar blue colored ID on your Android smartphone. Before it let me tell you that uh, this video is directly de recorded from my cell phone screen so it's not possible for me to show the tapping using finger so I've used a mouse pointer and whenever I tap you can think of it as my finger tapping it okay so and before beginning the actual installation let me tell you there is a file needed to be downloaded from internet I have provided the download link in the description it's not actually the file it's a zip folder so right now I have it download I have downloaded it already so navigating to it through my file explorer it's in the download folder let me show you again yes file explorer downloads this is the folder turbo c for android i mean its complete name is turbo c for android it's a zip folder so inside this zip folder you are going to find an dos box 1.2.8 apk which is an apk file and it's simply an emulator for androids like we have for windows ms dos for windows and right now this is dos box only and tc.zip so right now keeping away tc.zip we have and dos box and let me extract all it, all the contents of turbo c for android to a normal folder the normal the name of the normal folder will be turbo c for android okay it's done successfully coming back after that follow me what i'm going to do is come i have i'm back to sd card which is my root directory and then i'm going to create a new directory don't create this directory in any subdirectory this has to be just after the root directory and name it as tc if you have a good knowledge about cmd you may use any other name but right now this is a tutorial so i restrict myself by using tc for the folder name tc is created where it is okay it's over here fine then coming back to downloads and tc.zip okay tc.zip is also a zip folder so i have to extract all its content to a chosen path now i'm going to choose this path sd card which is already catenated over there and uh, in tc so this is the final path where i'm going to extract all the contents of tc.zip okay successfully done and now i'm going to uh, install an dos box 1.2.8 however this is just a version number you may use any dos box compatible with, with your android cell phone or smartphone and uh, and before the installation begins you have to verify that unknown sources installation is activated on your cell phone right now it's it was activated on my cell phone so it never prompted for it and then i'm going to install it now i have a problem in clicking it so i'm going to do it by my finger yeah done app is installed we are all set coming to and dos box and dos box okay since I told you this is an emulator so you just simply start emulator there it is DOS box ready and it has same uh, very same look as the MS uh, DOS so where's the keyboard I mean you you're, you're not going to find any keyboard when you tap on the cursor so keyboard is over here in the options button if you have a separate capacitive button on your cell phone use it from there right now I have this options button so I'm going to click on keyboard like this on keyboard and there's the keyboard and uh, now you have to uh, use some series of steps to switch to the familiar id i mean to the id you're familiar with cd tc catenet directory tc that was this tc what we created as an empty folder and pasted all tc.zips content in it and again I'm going to catenate directory bin because tc.exe that's the application which launches ID sets over here so we have a prepared we have prepared a directory named as c colon backslash tc backslash bin okay now 
I'm going to simply execute tc.exe which is executive file of my ID and there we are ready with everything it at first sight it shows some uh, some welcome screen from the makers of this uh, emulator or whatever you say so to run a program simply you have to move your cursor to come uh, pointer to compile now uh, what I find something peculiar about this uh, ID is my mouse pointer is moving somewhere else and the pointer in the ID is moving with reference to it and with a distance away to it so no problem no problem and no issue we are going to do it and I'm not a good user of mouse in this ID so uh, let me use a OTG keyboard and you won't be seeing it right now I'm going to create a new file like this okay it's over here oh my god this is simply problematic thing I mean I just hate such things okay now I'm going to write a simple code of viewing hello world so hash space I N C L U D E and you can go on typing like this so I have typed a simple program right now quickly on this ID using my OTG keyboard so because I'm not brave enough to use this Android keypad phone and switching back to some symbols and back to alphabets so that, that, that's not feasible for me so right now I'm going to compile it compilation is achieved in this ID using F9 key so now the program is comp ready and compiled fine okay there's one error fine okay I haven't named this main okay no problem no problem I'm just going to quickly name it I just named it is that it has name and now it's main now compiling it again zero errors and zero warnings fine again running it control F9 using my keyboard hello world this is Aman okay I'm Aman only fine to exit this ID use alt F I mean open the file and then move to quit there it is yeah you can you can opt to save it but right now I don't want to save it no and then after this write exit I've, I'm using it uh, I'm using my keyboard to do this and there we are back to this so thank you guys for watching this video I hope you like it this is Aman Shukla thank you